Tetrachromacy. In a world where color paints the essence of our visual experience, the human eye's ability to perceive this spectrum is nothing short of remarkable. Typically, this perception is governed by trichromatic vision, a system reliant on three types of cone cells, each responsive to different wavelengths of light. However, there exists a rare and extraordinary variation of this system known as tetrachromacy. Tetrachromacy is a condition characterized by the presence of an additional type of cone cell, enabling individuals to perceive a range of colors far beyond the capacity of the average human eye. This video delves into the fascinating realm of tetrachromacy, exploring its scientific underpinnings, the methods used to identify it in humans, and its implications for our understanding of visual perception. While tetrachromacy may seem like a superhuman ability, it is a real phenomenon that challenges our understanding of vision and color. By examining this rare condition, we not only uncover the mysteries of the human eye, but also gain insight into the complex and varied ways in which we all see and interpret the world around us. Through this exploration, tetrachromacy emerges not just as a topic of scientific curiosity, but as a window into the broader context of how vision shapes our interaction with our environment. It raises intriguing questions about the subjective nature of color perception and how genetic variations can lead to remarkably different sensory experiences. The Science of Tetrachromacy Tetrachromacy represents a fascinating anomaly in human vision, a condition where the intricate dance of light and color takes on an added dimension. At the heart of this phenomenon lies the science of cone cells, the retinal cells responsible for color vision. While most humans have three types of cone cells, each sensitive to red, green, or blue light, tetrachromats possess a fourth type, expanding their color perception spectrum. Understanding cone cells, the retina, located at the back of the eye, contains two types of photoreceptor cells, rods and cones. Rods are responsible for vision at low light levels, scotopic vision, whereas cones are active at higher light levels, photopic vision, and are essential for color discrimination. In typical human vision, the three types of cones peak in sensitivity at different wavelengths, corresponding to blue, short wavelength, green, medium wavelength, and red, long wavelength light. This trichromatic vision allows for the perception of a wide range of colors through the combination of these three primary colors. In tetrachromats, however, there exists a fourth type of cone cell. This additional cone expands the range of visible colors, theoretically allowing tetrachromats to perceive hues that are indistinguishable to trichromats. The nature of this extra cone sensitivity is not fully understood, but it is hypothesized to lie in between the standard red and green cones in terms of spectral sensitivity. Genetic Basis The genesis of tetrachromacy is rooted in genetics. The genes for the red and green cone pigments are located on the X chromosome, and variations in these genes can lead to the development of an additional cone type. Because females have two X chromosomes, they are more likely to be tetrachromats. In contrast, this condition is extremely rare in males, as they have only one X chromosome. Evolutionary Perspective From an evolutionary standpoint, the emergence of tetrachromacy is intriguing. In many animal species such as birds, fish and some insects, tetrachromacy is the norm, not the exception. These animals use their expanded color vision for various purposes, from spotting predators and prey to selecting mates. In humans, the evolutionary advantage of tetrachromacy is less clear, but it may have played a role in foraging or other survival-related tasks in our ancestral environments. Theoretical Implications The theoretical implications of tetrachromacy are profound. It challenges the long-held belief that the human visual spectrum is universally similar. Tetrachromacy suggests a more nuanced reality where individual genetic makeup can significantly alter one's perceptual experience of the world. Understanding this condition not only unravels the complexities of human vision, but also paves the way for exploring how we perceive and interact with our environment at a sensory level. Please like and subscribe. If you found this video informative, please comment and let me know your experiences. Thank you for watching.